If you ever struggled with anxiety, depression, or panic attacks, you probably heard of Zoloft. Hi, my name is Stan, and I'm a licensed pharmacist passionate about helping people understand their medications. Let's dive into what makes Zoloft so popular and what you should know if you're thinking about it. Zoloft, also known by its generic name sertraline, is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or SSRI. It's available as a tablet, capsule, or even as an oral solution, giving flexibility for different patient needs. It works by increasing the amount of serotonin available in your brain. And serotonin is one of the key chemicals that regulate mood, sleep, appetite, and even memory. Zoloft works by blocking the reabsorption or reuptake of serotonin back into the neurons. That leaves more serotonin hanging around between brain cells, giving your mood a better chance to stabilize and lift over time. Dosin typically starts low and is gradually increased in 25 milligram increments to help minimize side effects. The maximum recommended daily dose is 200 milligram, depending on the condition being treated and how you respond. And here's something important. If you have a liver disease, make sure to tell your doctor, as your dose may need to be adjusted based on your child Pew score, which helps guide safe prescribing in liver impairment. But keep in mind, Zoloft doesn't work overnight. It usually takes about three to six weeks to start feeling the full effects. Even though it's famous for treating depression, Zoloft is also FDA approved for anxiety disorders like generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorders, social anxiety, PTSD, OCD, and even for premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It's one of those medications that wears a lot of hats, and that's a big part of why it's so popular. Like any medication, sertraline has side effects, which include nausea, diarrhea, dry mouth, insomnia, feeling more anxious at first, and appetite changes. You are more likely to see side effects first before you see benefits. But the good news is that a lot of these side effects improve as your body gets used to the medication. Although rare, serotonin syndrome and risk of suicidal thoughts can occur. If you or someone you know experiences any of these serious symptoms, it's important to seek professional medical help immediately. Also, abruptly stopping Zoloft is not recommended because it can cause withdrawal-like symptoms. So always work with your doctor to gradually taper off if it's time to stop. And here's a fun fact. Zoloft is actually considered one of the safer SSRIs to use during pregnancy when needed. Well, thank you for watching this educational video. If you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need it. Stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.